It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Unfortunately, we have to talk about the issue about gay marriage again. Now, prior to 2015, basically states legalized it on a local level, but was not legalized on a federal level. And since then, thanks to the Supreme Court, it was legalized across the whole entire country. And it seems as though that the state of Iowa wants to roll back the issue of gay marriage. Iowa legislators propose a ban on same-sex marriage. The legislative is also considering a bill that would prevent residents to deny recognitions of same-sex marriages on religious grounds. Nearly eight years after the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage, Iowa legislature proposed banning such unions in their state constitutions. In accordance with the laws of nature and nature's God, the state of Iowa recognized the definition of marriage to be a union between one biological male and one biological female. Separately, eight Republican legislatures, six of them also proposed a joint resolution, filed another bill Tuesday called HF 508, which will permit the state's residents to not recognize same-sex marriages on religious grounds and says certain elements of respect of marriage act are null and void in Iowa. When I first heard this news for the first time, there's like a lot of stuff that came to mind. I believe this sort of bill was actually in direct response in regards to like the banned books that's been happening across the whole entire country. Largely because books like Gender Career show inappropriate images towards minors and many people were pretty much concerned on why such graphic images are being shown to their kids. And I think another reason why this sort of stuff also happened is largely because there are like a lot of videos I've seen on social media where parents would take their kids to drag queen shows. And again, that's also caused a major reaction among people no matter their political background. And so I would think that the main reason why something like this is going on right now Yes, it's probably because of a response to, of course, what's been happening right now during the other kind of controversy right here. But also, it's kind of strange to me that they're using religious ground as a way to discriminate those who don't want, who want to have, like, a gay marriage. And this is the main reason why I would say people like me and other public figures continue to have conversations with religious believers. Because, like, one thing, of course, is somebody believe what they believe at home and not use their belief system to influence policy but every single other day there is some sort of case of a Christian nationalist using their personal belief to justify a theocracy in our country and it's so frustrating that nobody actually of course cares about the separation of church and state when people say stuff that our nation is a Christian nation. They don't actually know about the history behind our country and what the founding fathers had to say when it comes down to separation of church and states. And so, honestly, if they have kept their beliefs to themselves, if they not influence policies, I'm pretty sure people like me would not speak out against these kind of people as much as I do right now. Tell me this, why should I, as a human being, as a secularist, as a godless heathen, why should I be forced to practice a religion or follow religious rules that I don't necessarily believe in? Why should I? If I have all the power in the world, I would not want to force my personal thoughts about how things are on the rest of the population. And I'm pretty sure that you would not appreciate if I force my views on everybody else who's religious. So. Why is it okay to have privilege over one religion, but not other religions? I mean, you want to have, like, you know, a state religion, then what kind of denominations do you want to have for the state religion? Because there's over 40,000 plus denominations of Christianity, and they all have different definitions about what constitutes as marriage, largely because there are more conservative denominations that I actually do in fact believe that it's actually between a man and a woman and there are some more liberal denominations that also think 
that of course they have no issue with gay marriage. And so if you're gonna force this view on everybody else, on the population, you're actually discriminating the rights of liberal Christians who also believe in the idea of gay marriage. In other words, I'm in complete disagreement with this whole entire introduction to the bill for Idaho because I don't think that's something that's happened between two consenting adults. It's none of my business. It's none of my business what people do in their bed. And so why should I force my entire viewpoint on everybody else? So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.